Well, hi there. What I'm going to uh, attempt to demonstrate today is how to uh, send MIDI information from Max MSP into Logic to automate the parameter of a soft synth uh, in Logic, which is quite tricky. And you can see it working here. Here we've got uh, just a, a quick random nine number generator, which is sending some, some MIDI information. And here you can see, this is the big bit, here is my uh, cutoff frequency in a soft synth in Logic being driven by MIDI information from Max. So how do you get all that set up? Well, it's pretty tricky, I can tell you. Um, the first thing I have here in Max MSP is my note out and control out here. I've connected to a MIDI info object. You'll find this in the help file for MIDI info. And what that does is it fills a menu with all the possible outputs. And the one that seems to work for me is not the IAC driver, but from Max MSP. Now both note out and control out are sending to a port called from Max MSP. And in Logic, I've got a little environment window down here where I've made a physical input object, and you can see from Max MSP turns up there. So that gives the trick of actually sending MIDI information from Max to Logic. There's a quicker and simpler way in Max 5. If you double click on, a, on an object like this, you can see where it's sending it to. But the advantage of doing it this way is it means I can swap several of these um, uh, MIDI output objects uh, at the same time using this U menu here. So I can select all of those, so they're all sending to this port called from Max MSP one So hopefully now, if I just quickly send a bunch of random notes... And there we are. Those are being, at least those note messages are being received uh, into uh, Logic. So that's that bit there. Now, the really tricky part about it is we need to know what MIDI information to send in order to change this frequency knob. And the tricky thing about this is these automation parameters are controlled by a kind of hidden MIDI event, event in Logic called a, called a fader event. And in order to figure out how to get this bit done, I had to find a very obscure paragraph in the manual which informs me, and this is uh, just so typical of Logic, that there's a secret key command Control Command E. This is not in any way of the menus. But if you hit Control Command E, what you can do is you can see a special event list which shows you what's going on in, in, in automation. So what I did here was I moved my frequency knob and recorded some automation, hit Control Command E, and that let me see that this is something called a fader event on channel 2, number 7. Now. That means I need to recreate this event in this uh, event in Logic. In order to do that, I'm using a fader in Logic to convert one kind of event to the other. So if we click on the fader object, what's coming in is a is MIDI controller number seven on channel one, which was what I'm sending from Max MSP control out seven one, and the fader is transforming it into something completely different. Channel two. Um, number seven, but the output type is fader. And that's the trick to getting that to be being the kind of uh, information which the soft sense will understand. And then here I've just got a monitor so I can see what's happening. And that there, we'll do this in a minute, is piping the information into instrument one. So let's try and automate another parameter. I'm going to have a go uh, at doing the overdrive. And I think I'm going to have, have a go at automating the overdrive in part two of this video. So we'll come on to that next. 